But before we carry on, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell to stay notified. Hi guys, welcome to Zik Wheels and today we have with us the Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. This is India's first taste of a legal Japanese 600cc super sport and now most of us have grown up reading tales of these iconic motorcycles and to see one of them in the flesh is like meeting one of your heroes. Well, uh, Kawasaki is only uh, one of the two Japanese bike makers who are still making 600cc super sports, the second one being Yamaha. Honda and Suzuki bowed out of the game long back. But before I get stuck up on history, let me get to the bike itself. As you can see here, this looks identical to the Ninja 400. These winglets around the headlights look very much like the Ninja 400. And the overall fairing design, including this green KRT color scheme, is fairly similar to the Ninja 400. But what you get here is this, the Ram Air Intake Scoop, which not only adds to the aesthetic value, but also gives you more power. But more on that later on. The ZX6R in India comes as a rider only bike. As you can see here, there are no foot pegs for the pillion as well as no seat here you get a cowl here so it so it is meant to be a proper proper riders only bike the overall parts and fit and finish quality levels here are top notch as you can expect from Kawasaki in fact the instrument cluster here looks very similar to the Ninja 400 the layout here is fairly similar as you can see apart from these few small details here for the power for the traction control for the quick shifter and everything on the the overall design remains same but the layout is slightly different now the ergonomics of the bike are typical super sportish so once you get on the saddle yeah this is slightly high as you can see i am a bit tiptoeing over here the balls of my feet are flat over here the seat height is 830 mm but you are leaning forward to get onto the clip-ons which are fairly low slung but this is a super sport stance in case you want to crouch down yeah there's plenty of room to move behind there's plenty of room here and even for somebody who is huge like me there is a lot of room to move around in the saddle. Coming to the foundations, the ZX6R has got a pressed aluminium twin spa frame which has been put through its paces in the World Super Sport Championship. Kawasaki has been one of the dominant forces in the series and this chassis has been developed and put through its paces in the racing championship. And housed underneath is this 636cc inline 4 motor which makes 130 PS at a whopping 13 and a half thousand rpm the remember the ram air effect i told you about well that increases six ps more from this scoop that we saw earlier now kawasaki has made sure to tweak the six speed gearbox as well as the final drive ratios for better low end torque even though it makes a peak torque of 70.8 newton meters at a sky high 11,000 rpm Kawasaki ensures that the ZX6R will be able to handle daily duties as well. But don't, but you don't buy this bike for daily duties. You buy this bike for hitting the apexes. And that's what you get. You get great components for that. Starting off with this. The Kawasaki Quick Shifter. Only up shifts though, no auto blipper here. So, you, so it doesn't help you go down the gears without using the clutch but it helps you to get up through the gears quickly then getting back here you see the KTRC that's a traction control you get three levels of traction control and you can shut off traction control altogether then you got these two power modes F and L and then yeah you can scroll through this traction control and completely off 
Uh, the suspension trunk you get show us 41 mm USDs. These are the separate function folks of the big piston variety. Uh, these have fully adjustability. That means you can set them for rebound, uh, compression as well as preload. And at the front you also get this these Nissin monoblock calipers, four piston. Uh, yeah, monoblocks acting on two 310 mm rotors and then moving to the back you get this lovely swing arm this with the Kawasaki's trademark unitrack monoshock with a piggyback reservoir even this unit is fully adjustable uh, on the rear the brakes is sadly just a single piston one just a single piston caliper acting on a 220 mm disc these 17 inch rims here as you can see come short with bridgestone battle axe hypersport s22 rubber it is said to offer great grip in both the dry as well as wet conditions uh, we shall put the claim to test soon uh, this motorcycle comes to india Via the CKD route, Kawasaki has managed to price the ZX6R at a rupees 10.49 lakh ex showroom India. But this is an introductory price, so expect the pricing to go higher soon enough. What are its competitors? Perhaps the Ducati Panigale 959, which costs nearly 7 lakh more. One could also make the case for the Triumph Street Triple RS here, which, uh, which offers similar performance. But the naked cost rupees 11.13 lakhs. We should get a spin on this bike soon enough. But until then, here's a little taste of what you can expect. So.